everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing my CVS haul for the week of 5-7 through 5-13. Out of the total of four transactions between all four, I saved three sixty-five forty-five. I had 41 items, making each item only 25 cents. However, I had a huge hiccup with the Nivea deal. Instead of me paying 34 cents for my haul today, I paid 10 34 out of pocket which is still not bad considering what I picked up today. I got some cheap Dove you guys can get for no CRT. You can get some Moneymaker X, no CRT needed, and Moneymaker Shea Moisture, no CRT needed, especially no CRT needed for some cheap Tide Pods at 124 I also picked up some Boost six-pack drinks at $0.11 cents a six-pack. Amazing. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to my channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And please give the video a big thumbs up, share the video, and comment down below. But if you guys want to see the good and bad in my CVS haul today and it still turned out to be amazing, then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, I just got back from doing my CVS haul and normally I check my receipt in the car and I thought I had all of my ECBs, but I guess I overlooked it. But for the Nivea deal, it, it includes Nivea, Aquaphor, and Eucerin. They are spend 20, get 10. Now it doesn't specify because it said Nivea, Aquaphor, and Eucerin. I thought that all items were included with that deal, but it's not. So I picked up the Nivea body wash and I did not get my ECB back for that. So I'm debating on should I take the Nivea body wash back and get the difference of what they will get me back. Because you guys know when you use coupons and ECBs, they give you back whatever you paid uh, a little bit of change back on your card if you'll say. And you'll get back the ECB return value back, which I'm not sure what that will be. So I'm debating on should I take that back. If I do, I will update you guys in my community post on the outcome of the Nivea deal. If you don't see an update community post, that means I kept the Nivea and just dealt with the hiccup. I always try to show the good and the bad. I don't like show deals that don't, I don't hold back deals where I rather say, I don't hold back deals that I made a mistake on. I show you guys the uh, errors along the way because no no uh, haul is perfect. We all have mistakes here and there, and I always show my good and bad. So my bad today was the Nivea body wash, and like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that deal. I will up update you guys in my community post what the outcome of that deal will be. If I decide to take it back, if I keep it, it is what it is, but I like to get return values back from uh, CVS to keep rolling in my deals. And for me to pay for the body wash and then get a return, any return back from it, it doesn't sit well with me. But like I told you guys, I'm showing you the good and the bad because we do all make mistakes. So with that being said, that was the first announcement. Second announcement, uh, printable coupons. We got some okay ones. I recommend printing the Snickers, CoverGirl, Revlon, especially if you guys don't get the save insert, Lysol, Neutrogena, Elite, and the Big Razor. Third announcements, instant CRTs. We got three of them. I only remember the Revlon, which was $4. I will put on the screen for you guys uh, what the three were. So enough of the announcements out of the way with my huge hiccup, but we all make mistakes and I show the good and the bad, like I say. Uh, my first transaction, I did a total of four. So with this, I only got the CRT that CVS gave me. So I did the Dove deodorant. It's all Dove included, like certain items in Dove are in this promotion, so pick and choose. There are buy one, get one 50, and buy two, get five. I picked up two of the Dove uh, stick deodorants. Those are a 2.6 ounce at $5.99, half off at $2.99, so both totaled me $8.98. I used two of those $2 off Dove deodorant coupons. I used mine from the 416 save, I believe, and they expired on 429. If I'm not correct, I'll put it on the screen. But we also got new ones in today's safe insert. So you'll pay $4.98, guys. Get them back five. Making those deodorants free and a two cents moneymaker. I did Maybelline. I had a hiccup with Maybelline. 
So with Maybelline, uh, it's been 20 get 10. Now, I this is my mistake. I looked at the coupon and forgot it said Maybelline Fit Me. So by me picking up the Maybelline New York product, the coupon did not work for it. So that was my mistake. I want to go back in the aisle and get a Maybelline Fit Me product, but my manager did not want to ring up everything else over again. So she said afterwards, she'll give me back the $4 ECB. Not all cashiers or managers would do that, guys, but my store did not want me to re-ring up the whole transaction again. And she did force print me a $4 ECB. So that coupon is for Maybelline Fit Me products. I did not even read the coupon, guys, so I do apologize in my breakdown. It's for Maybelline Fit Me products. And the product I picked up in my deals video is exactly what I picked up in my haul today. So I picked up a Maybelline um, Instant Age Perfector at 13 49 and one Maybelline Fit Me Blush at 679. So both sold me 2028. 20, I did have that four dollar off Maybelline coupon from the 430 save, but like I told you guys, it did beep. So she did force print me a four dollar ECB in the place of that. I used that two dollar off Maybelline CRT from last week in a three off 15 a Maybelline makeup CRT. So I paid um 1328 because that two dollar off digital did come off. So I paid $13.28 and got back the 10, making it $3.28 for both or $1.64 each. But like I told you guys, she did give me the $4 ECB back. So it's like I kind of like got an um, a extra savings of $2 because she did force print me that $4 ECB for the 4 out 2 Maybelline uh, Fit Me coupon beeping. Then I was going to do cover girl, but my store was low on products and did not have it. So I... Scratch that out. I did the Chic Razor deal at spend 25, get 10. I um had to get these from behind the counter. So I picked up um one of the Chic uh stubble eraser razors. That was $11.99. Then I picked up the Chic Quattro refills, and my husband do have that razor, so I don't mind getting the refills for it. So that was $13.79. So both totaled me $25.78. I used two of those $4 off uh, Chic Men's Razor Coupons for my 416 save. And those coupons expired yesterday. And I used a 6 off 20 Chic Men's Razor CRT. So I paid $11.78. Getting back 10 for spending $25, making it $178 for both, or just $0.89 cents each, which is not bad for the refill pack and, of course, the razors. Then I had uh, two X coupons left on two different accounts. So I did the X. And buy one get one fifty and buy two get four. So I picked up two of the X body sprays at seven twenty nine, half off at three sixty four. So both sold me ten ninety three. I did have a seven fifty off two X product digital coupon that should have double dip with that two off X new digital coupon, but it didn't. But it should have double dip because my half off price was more than the value of the digital coupon. So, um, well, no, it not should it not hit not should have double dip. Let me rephrase that because my 729 uh X product was 729, so it was not more than the value of the 750 off digital coupon. So, that's the reason why the two dollar off digital did not glitch. Have to rephrase that and think a little bit. If it would have glitched, my X product would have should have totaled seven dollars and 59 cents. In order for that 750 off digital to attach to that item and the $2 off digital to attach to the other X product. So now that is correct. So that's the reason why it did not double dip. I did plan to pick up the deodorants and I should have because it would have double dipped because the deodorants were $7.59, but I picked up the body sprays and it did not uh, double dip. So that's why guys, hope you guys understood that little uh, double dip lesson. It didn't double dip because my X product was only $7.29. So that $7.50 off two digital coupon attached to both items, and it did not have an item attached to for the $2 coupon. Hope that makes sense, guys. So instead of me paying the $143, I paid $343, still getting back the four, plus I got back $2 times two on Ibotta. So instead of it being a $6.57 moneymaker, it ended up only being a $4.57 moneymaker, which is still a good moneymaker deal. For X nonetheless. So with this transaction, it includes the Dove deodorant, the Maybelline, 
the uh, Chic Razor and Refill, and then my Axe Body Spray. My total product in the coupons was $33.47. I was supposed to pay um, $30, a little bit, $4 less because my 4 off 2 Maybelline coupon beat. So I paid $33.47. I got back $29 in ECBs. I got back 5 for the Dove, 10 for Maybelline, 10 for the Chic, 4 for X. I got back $4 from Ibotta for the X. And then my cashier gave me back a $4 ECB for the Maybelline coupon beeping. So that leaves this first transaction a freebie and a $3.53 moneymaker because I paid $33.47, got back $29 in regular ECBs, four for my bottle for the X, and then four uh, ECB for the Maybelline coupon beeping, making it free and a $3.53 moneymaker. Okay, first transaction, there's the X, the Dove, the Maybelline, the Chic. And here are the coupons I used. The X came off. The Maybelline came off because my 4 off 2 beeped. I'm um, not sure why my Epic Beauty is all the way up there. My $11, but my 6 off 20 Chic, 3 off 15 Maybelline, and my 2 off Maybelline CRT from last week. I had 8 items to pay, four forty seven plus tax. Here's a $4 ECB she gave me because my um, 4 off 2 beeped because it's for the Fit Me products. I saved $68.15 with a 94% savings. I got back 10 for Maybelline, 4 for the X, 10 for the Chic, and then 5 for the um, Dove. Then I got some more CRTs that printed. Moving right along to my second transaction. I'm working with a 10 off 70 CRT. So in this transaction, I um, got any Colgate Optic White or here. It's been 20 get 10. I picked up one Colgate Optic White Renewal at $10.29, and then two of the Colgate Optic White Stain Fighters at $4.99. So all three totaled me $20.27. I did have a $2 off digital that did come off for the Colgate. It was supposed to double dip with that two off two from the 430 Smart Source. My $3 off Colgate Optic White Renewal did not come off. So I did submit to coupons.com and I will get back $3 for the Colgate Optic White Renewal toothpaste for that little issue there. So I did want to do CoverGirl on this car as well, but my store did not have any cheap CoverGirl products. So I picked up the Compete because I had to make up the difference. So I picked up the Compete at $9.99. So I, um, it's buy one, get a $4 ECB. I did not have a coupon for this, but I threw it in to uh, kind of reach my threshold. So, um, uh, to reach my 10 off 70 threshold and there's a dollar off on I bought a rebate. Now we did have compete offers at 250, like overnight they reset, like they were not even winding down with the, uh, I bought a rebates. So for some reason I bought a change of 250 off rebate to a dollar, like not sure what that was about, but it is what it is. Then I did the Dove, uh, products again at buy one, get one fifty and buy two, get five. So I picked up two of the Dove Body Wash at $8.99, half off at $4.49. So both totaled me um, $13.48. I used two of those two dollars off Dove Body uh, Wash coupons from today's Safe Insert. I did the Axe again at buy one get one fifty and buy two get four. I picked up two of the Axe Fine Fragrance Body Wash and my store is really low on Axe because we have been having some really fire Axe deals. So I picked up two of the body wash at $7.79, half off at $3.89. So both told me $11.68. I used that $7.50 off to X body product digital coupon. And it double dipped with that two off new X product digital coupon. So I paid $2.18. Getting back the four for buying two. Then I submitted my receipt to I bought it for $3 times two. Making those free and a $7.82 money make without any uh, CRTs guys. Axe is a $7.82 moneymaker. Then I did my spend 20 get five. I had an issue with this deal. I normally don't, but I'll tell you guys why. I picked up originally two Tide Pods, the spring metal, because the coupon only works on the spring metal, if I never mentioned in my videos. And I picked up uh, two of the Downy Unstoppable was at $5.49. So all four totaled me $21.96. I did have two three dollar off tie pod coupons from png that scan with no problem i had two of the downy coupons that beeped now we do have several downy coupons and i think i picked up the wrong coupons i'm not sure if i did or not 
but I did use two three dollar off of the downy but those did not work this time guys so I did have a subscriber ask me in the comments will the downy coupons work I don't know for this go round because we have so many downy coupons for me it beeped and like I told you guys I probably picked up uh used the wrong um downy coupons but because we have so many, I don't know which ones to use to test it out. So instead, my cashier went back and grabbed me like some random um, Tide Pods. And I gave her two more of the $3 Tide Pod coupons. Now, again, those coupons only worked on the Spring Metal scent. But she did scan two more of the Spring Metal in place and just went back and got me two of the random Tide Pods. So if you guys pick up the four Tide Pods and pay $21.96 and use four Tide Pod coupons, you can get the spring metal or the free and gentle. Those work fine with those coupons. You'll pay $9.96, getting back the five for spending $20, making it only $4.96 for all four or just $1.20 for each, which is not bad. But like I told you guys, we have so many downy coupons. I don't know which ones will work. So pick up the Tide Pods. So with my uh haul with the 10 out 70, it includes the Kogi Optic White, the Compete, the Dove Body Wash, the Axe Fine Body. And then my uh, spend 20 get fired with the Tide products. My total prior to any coupons was $77.38. I used all of my coupons mentioned and my 10 out 70 CRT. And I was supposed to pay $34.88. But because my $3 off digital for the Colgate Optic Wire Renewal did not come off, I paid $37.88 and got back $28 in ECBs. I got back $10 for the Colgate deal, $4 for the Compete. Five for the Dove Body Wash, four for the Axe Fine Fragrance Body Wash, and then five for spending twenty. Then I got back seven ten on Ibotta because I got back six dollars for the um, Axe Fine Body, and then ten cents for any receipt. I got back a dollar for the Compete, and I did submit my receipt to Coupons.com to get back three dollars for the Colgate Optic Work Renewal. So again, I paid thirty seven eighty eight, got back twenty eight dollars in ECBs. Got back seven ten on Ibotta for the Axe and ten cent on any receipt. A dollar for the Compete and then three from Coupons.com, making this second transaction only free and a twenty two cents money maker. Second transaction, there are my Tide Pods, my Axe. Um, what is this? The Fine Fragrance, the Dove Body Wash. There is the Optic White Stain Fighter that Compete and then the Colgate Renewal. You can see all of my coupons came off. My seven fifty off. Axe, double dip with the other Axe. My Colgate 2 off 2, double dip with the 2 off 2. And my uh, Optic White Renewal did not come out, but I did submit my receipt to coupons.com. Uh, my 10 off 70, I had 12 hours to pay $3.88. Um, it was supposed to be $0.88, cents, but that 3 off for the Optic White did not come off. I saved $89.90 with a 96% savings. Got back 4 for the Axe. 10 for Maybelline. 4 for the Compete. Five for the uh, Dove, five for the Tide, spending 20. Then I got another 10 off 70 on my receipt and some more CRT. So my third transaction, I have another 10 off 70 CRT. So with this, uh, became my uh, hiccup haul with the Nivea. So it includes Nivea at spend 20, get 10. So I picked up three of the Nivea body wash at 659, totaling me 1977. I used that $4 off to Nivea from the 4-2 safe insert, expired on 4-29. And I used that $1.50 off Nivea from the same insert. Then I did any Shea Moisture at spend 20 get 10. I picked up a Shea Moisture body oil at $11.99. And then it had only one left of the Shea Moisture uh, hair gel at $9.79. So without any CRTs, guys, Shea Moisture is a money maker. So I both told me $21.78. I use a 6 off 2 Shea Moisture product visual coupon that double dip with the 6 off 2 from today's safe insert. So I still paid $9.78 without any CRTs and got back to 10 making those free and a $0.22 cents money maker. I did the Dove Body Polish at buy one get one fifty. There are several Dove options included with this promotion. Buy 2 get 5 so I picked up 2 of the Dove Body Polish at $7.79, half off at $3.89. So both sold me $11.68. I used two of those $3 off Dove body polish coupons from today's safe insert. Now, there is an Ibotta rebate for these uh, polishes, but it excludes using coupons. I did submit my receipt and it's still pending, but normally when it says don't use coupons, I still get my offer back. 
I think it's because I have so many offers on my receipt that it don't pick up that I use a coupon for that offer. But um, there is a um, $2 times two, I bought a rebate. So if you don't, excuse me. So you'll pay $5.68, getting back the five for buying two. Then submit to I bought a for two dollars times two, making those free in a three thirty two money maker. Now without the I bought a rebate, you'll pay sixty eight cents or make it thirty four cents each after the ECB. But like I told you guys, I, I still submitted my receipt and I did count it in my haul because last week I did a deal and used coupons on it and I still got back my uh I bought a rebate. So I guess I bought it as a hit or miss with that. But like I told you guys, I had a lot of offers on my receipt last week, like this week, and I still got back my I bought a rebate. I did the Scott Bab tissue 12 roll and you can get the paper towels. My store did not have the paper towels. And luckily I had this tissue because my mom loved the Scott 12 roll tissue. So I did the um their buy two get five at 99. So I picked up two of those at 9.99. Told me 21 $19.98. There is a dollar off digital coupon for um this one Scott you can submit. And then submit a dollar from the coupons.com app as well. So I did any boosts. Um, because I did have a 10 off 70, but I already reached that threshold and I did the boost. Any boost six pack is buy one, get one fifty and buy two, get four. So I picked up four of the boost original six pack drinks at 1049 and then two half off at 549. So all four total me 3146. If you guys have this CRT, you can get boost a six pack for 11 cents each, which is amazing. So uh, all four told me $31.46. I used three five off two boost drink product coupons. We had the five off two in today's safe insert. We had a new five off two digital coupon that double dip with an old four off two boost drink product digital coupon. And I had a four off 20 protein powder shakes of our CRT. So I paid $8.46 guys. Getting back eight for buying four because they're buy four get eight. Making it only $0.46. Cents for four boost six packs or 11 cents each. Like that is amazing guys. So you have that CRT and have those digital coupons like that old four off two digital coupon and a new one and those two five off twos, you can get a boost six pack for 11 cents each and that is amazing. So because I made my hiccup in this transaction, I paid um, a total of 47.17 out of pocket. I was supposed to get twenty thirty eight thousand ECBs, but I did I did not get my ten dollar ECB for the Nivea. So I paid forty seven seventeen, got back twenty eight thousand ECBs. I got back ten for Shea Moisture, five for uh, the Dove Body Polish, uh, five for the Scott, and then eight for the Boost. So I paid forty seven seventeen, got back twenty eight. Then I uh, submitted my receipt to I bought a for four dollars for the Dove Body Polish. So it makes this uh transaction only 15 17 out of pocket. You guys might say that's an okay uh transaction because I did get some paper items and I did get some boost drinks. But I, like I told you guys, I'm not sure what I would do with the Nivea at this point. If I do decide to take it back, I will update you guys in my community post. But for now, this third transaction is only 15 17 out of pocket. Third transaction, there's a Scott, there's a Dove Body Polish, all of the boosts. There is the Shea Moisture, and there is the lovely Nivea. Here are all of my coupons that came off the Shea Moisture Double Dip. The Boost, both 5 off 2 and 4 off 2 Double Dip. There's the Scott, my 10 off 70, and my 4 off 20 Protein CRT. I had 13 items to pay, two seventeen plus tax. I saved one twenty four ninety with a 98% savings. Got 5 for the Scott, 10 for Shea Moisture, 5 for the Dove polish eight for the boost and got another 10 off 70 on this account as well so now with my fourth and final transaction i'm working with another 10 off 70 crt i did any maybelline again i spent 20 get 10 and i picked up the same items the maybelline perfector at 13.49 and the maybelline fit me blush at 6.49 6.79 so both totaled me 2028 I did have that four off two Maybelline Fit Me coupon that's not for this item um, from a 430 save, but my uh, cashier again getting back a four dollar ECB in replace of that. Now, at the end of the video, you guys will see a eight dollar ECB. It was four for the uh, four off two Maybelline Fit Me product coupon beeping. And for one, some reason, one of my four dollar ECBs 
said it, it was already used in a prior transaction, which it was not the case because I still have my ECB and I did not clip it to my card. So I'm not sure what's up with that. So she did issue me a new $4 ECB and in place of the $4 ECB, I had gave her a new one, for, gave her another one for. So I'm only going to count the $4 ECB on that uh, $8 ECB, if that makes sense, guys. I don't want to confuse you guys. That $8 ECB is only for the $4 Maybelline coupon beeping and a $4 ECB I had to give her in replace of the one that said it was used prior. So that makes sense. And I got, um, on this transaction, I used the, uh, with the Maybelline, again, it was 2028. I had that four-off suit coupon that beep. I got a new four-off ECB in replace of that. I used that two-off Maybelline CRT from last week. I did Nivea, I before and Eucerin. At spend 20 get 10, I picked up Eucerin Daily Hydration at 11.79 and one Eucerin skin coming at 9.29. Now these were tagged and they were 21.08. I used two of those two out of Eucerin body product coupons from today's safe insert. I had a two off hand and body lotion CRT I got from CVS via email and that came off as well. And I had a three off 12 hand and body lotion CRT. I did Shea Moisture again at spend 20 get 10, but this time I picked up two of the Shea Moisture body wash at 11.29 so both told me 22.58 i used two of those six out two shit moisture product coupons the one in the app double dip with the one from today's save insert i did the dove uh promotion again at buy one get 150 and buy two get five i picked up they did not have the cheaper of the dove body love products i think the cheaper ones were like 10 something like 10.79 they only had the higher ones at 13.49 so i picked up one of those at 13.49 and I picked up a Dove body wash at $4.49. So both told me $17.98. I used the 4 off 2 Dove Body Love product coupon from our $4.16 save. That coupon expired on $4.29. I used a $2 off uh, Dove body wash coupon from today's save insert. So you'll pay $11.98. Like I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll pay $11.98. Getting back the five for buying two. Then submit to Shopkick for 1250 kicks, which is $5.00. Still making it one ninety eight for those, or just ninety nine cents each, without any CRTs. Getting back their ECBs and then the shop kick offer. So now with this ten off seventy CRT for my last transaction, it includes Maybelline, Eucerin, Shea Moisture, the Dove. My total uh was supposed to be thirty um eight ninety two, but because my four off two for the Maybelline uh beat, I end up paying forty two ninety two. But I got back a total of $35 in ECBs. I got back 10 for Maybelline, 10 for Eucerin, 10 for Shea Moisture, and then five for the Dove. So I paid, uh, instead of me paying $38.92, I paid $42.92. Getting back $35 in ECBs. I got back four for the Maybelline Beepin. And I got back $5 from Shopkick, making this last transaction only $1.08 out of pocket. I'm going to reset because I know I just totally messed that up. Instead of me paying $38.92 because my 4 off 2 Maybelline beeped, I paid $42.92. I got back a $4 ECB for the Maybelline coupon beeping. And I got back 5 from Shopkick for the bundle with the Dove, making this final transaction only $1.08 out of pocket. And like I told you guys, you will see at the end of the video with the receipt, I got an $8 ECB only because my 4 off Maybelline beeped. And I had to give her a new $4 coupon, a $4 ECB, because my $4 ECB beat. And she just forced printed me an $8 ECB for the difference. Hope that doesn't confuse you guys, because I know a lot of you get confused when I try to re-explain things, because I want to make sure you guys got the right information. So with this last transaction, it was 108 money maker. Last transaction, there is the Dove and the um, Dove Body Love. Maybelline, Eucerin, and Shea Moisture, and more Maybelline. And you can see the Maybelline double dip with the six off two insert coupon, my 10 off 70, my three off 12 hand and body, my two off hand and body, and my two off Maybelline CRT from last week. I had eight items and paid $3.92 plus tax. It was supposed to be uh, just a tax, but the four off two Maybelline beeped. She did give me back an $8 ECB, but I'm only counting four ECBs because... The other four ECB is for a new ECB I gave her because it said one of my ECBs had already been used, which it wasn't. So I'm only counting four dollars from this eight. So I saved eighty two fifty with a ninety five percent savings. I got back ten for the uh, Colgate deal. No, not Colgate. This is for uh, Maybelline. I got five for the Dove, ten for the Eucerin, 
10 for the Shea Moisture, and I got a 15 off 75 purchase. I never seen that one before, but I got a 15 off 75 and some more CRTs. So now we're gonna talk my final cost for my CVS haul today. Now my overall cost out of pocket was 1034. Now that's not bad considering what I picked up today, guys. That's why I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about my Nivea deal because even though I did not get my ECB back, I still only paid like $10 and some change out of pocket and I got like a ton of items. So I'm not sure what I would do. If I do take it back, guys, I will update you guys in my community post. But for now, my overall haul was $10.34 out of pocket. If I would have got back my $10 ECB for my Nivea deal, it would have been $0.34 cents for this whole entire transaction, which would have been amazing. But still, in all in all, getting all this for $10 is not a bad deal. So I still might just keep the Nivea and just suck it up. So my first transaction was free in a $3.53 moneymaker. My second was free in a $0.22 cents moneymaker. My third, which was a Nivea hiccup uh, transaction, it was $15.17 out of pocket. And my fourth transaction was free in a $1.08 moneymaker. So once you factor in my moneymakers, which was one, two, and four, came out to be free in a $4.83 moneymaker. Now, when you deduct my moneymaker, which was $4.83, from my third transaction, which was fifteen seventeen out of pocket, it makes this haul only ten thirty four out of pocket. I had a total of forty one items, making each item only twenty one cents each. No, twenty five cents each, which is still not a bad deal, guys. Like I told you guys, I showed a good and a bad, and even though with the bad, I still only paid ten dollars out of pocket for this transaction. And between all four transactions, I saved a total of three sixty five forty five, which is not a bad deal, guys. Look like look at what I picked up. I got boost. I have Scott, I have Dove, I have Schick, I have Eucerin. Like, these are some really great items I picked up this week. And even with my hiccup, guys, I only paid $10.34 out of pocket, making each item only $0.25 cents each. So I hope you guys enjoyed my CVS haul video. Hope it was very helpful for you guys. Even with my hiccups here and there, my haul still came out to be a really great haul. And like I told you guys, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the Nivea. I'm contemplating on even taking it back, but... If I do, you will see it on my community post. If you don't see it, that means I kept it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful to see. Not all deals work out as planned. I do myself make mistakes, and I do show the good and the bad in all of my transactions. I don't show you guys just the good that happens. I want to show you guys the bad as well because we all don't have good transactions. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you all so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my subscribers as well. Coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz you guys know. I appreciate you all so much. Can't thank you enough. And I'll see you guys in my next one.